Winning hearts at the box office is the star-studded ensemble cast of Valentine's Day, the romantic comedy intertwining the love lives of its lovelorn stars. Hi everybody and welcome to I Follow TV. Yes, love is in the air this Valentine's Day, but which stars of the blockbuster film leave their fans feeling the most love? This is I Follow TV's countdown to the sweetest stars of Valentine's Day. Coming in at number 10 is Julia Roberts. She may be America's sweetheart, but Julia Roberts has left some fans with a bittersweet memory of the Academy Award winning Pretty Woman. Julia Roberts is notorious for not smiling in fan photos and being less than readily accessible at film premieres, on location shoots, and even just around town. In a 1991 interview on the Barbara Walters special, Julia Roberts told viewers that no one is excluded from enjoying her work on camera, but many have felt excluded from enjoying Julia Roberts off camera. Julia's Valentine's Day co-star Jessica Alba may be willing to sign autographs and pose for photos, but some fans report she doesn't look very happy about it. And while she routinely remains willing to meet her adoring fans, Jessica Alba doesn't take kindly to paparazzi and she often can't differentiate between fans and photographers. So if you plan to approach Jessica Alba, do so without the cameras rolling. If ever there was the strong and especially silent type, it would be Oscar winner Jamie Foxx. Yo, what up, it's Jamie Foxx. The handsome actor never refuses a photo with a fan, but that doesn't mean he's willing to talk. Infamous for posing in silence, Jamie Foxx is a man of many talents, but a celebrity of few words for his fans. So why is Jamie Foxx so quiet? A representative for the actor tells us that Mr. Foxx takes every opportunity possible to rest his voice when his hectic schedule allows. Queen Latifah remains one of the biggest names in film and music today, and fans of the popular actress and singer agree that meeting the star proves that Queen Latifah made a wise selection for her stage name. My birth name is Dana Owens. Latifah is a nickname that I chose when I was like about eight years old. Um, my cousin brought over this book with all these Arabic names and they had meanings to them. And Latifah meant delicate, sensitive, kind, nice. And I felt like that name sort of fit me. Fans at the Hollywood premiere of Valentine's Day reported that Queen Latifah lingered around the rope lines longer than her fellow cast members to sign autographs and pose for pictures until everyone was satisfied. Certainly not a small feat in the least. She's beautiful, she's talented, and according to CNN, Jessica Biel is among the top 10 celebrity searches on the internet that lead to computer viruses. Back in the real world, however, Jessica Biel doesn't stand much of a chance to catch a virus herself. The actress is believed by some to be far more fond of waving to her fans than physically interacting with them. But for a good cause, Jessica Biel will do much more than wave. From Hollywood fundraisers to auctioning off lunches with herself for charity, Jessica Biel has proven that while her wave may be cold, her heart is made of gold. Some say that Jennifer Gardner is the ultimate Valentine. Friendly to a fault, OK Magazine reports that the actress is even kind to paparazzi. According to one insider account, even when her children aren't around, Jennifer Gardner's maternal instincts take over. When one of the many photographers following her recently dropped a camera lens, Jennifer was right there to pick it up, brush it off, and let the paparazzo get back to work. Now, how many celebs can claim to have done that? She was a nightmare in misery, but in real life, Oscar winner and Valentine's Day star Kathy Bates is a social butterfly who takes time for more than just autographs and photos with fans. Ever the patient and playful movie star, occasionally Kathy Bates even stands around to humor a fan and his card tricks. Diamond. Ten of diamonds? Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, were you guys doing anything back? No. <laughs> Just everybody. Yeah. That's not your card. That's no. Totally if I give it out here, it would shake. It changes. <laughs> <laughs>
One of the hottest young stars in film today is Twilight heartthrob and Valentine's Day leading man, Taylor Lautner. Lautner has won the affection of millions of teenage girls the world over, but he hasn't let the success go to his head. Uh, you guys are the most dedicated, passionate fans I've ever seen. In Valentine's Day, Taylor Lautner proves that while many fall for him, he can fall for himself too. Oh my God, baby, are you okay? Walk it off, baby, just walk it off. You're still hot, baby, you're still hot. When it comes to keeping in close contact with fans, no one is more conscious of his adoring following than Mr. Twitter himself, social media guru, Ashton Kutcher. Placing number two on our countdown to the sweetest celebs of Valentine's Day, Ashton Kutcher is a fan favorite to young and old alike. Posted on iFollow.com, a recent encounter with Ashton Kutcher left one fan describing the Valentine's Day star as funny, cute, great personality, warm, and felt good to be around. An all-around good guy, and most importantly, you can really tell he adores his wife. As illustrated with humor on Jimmy Kimmel Live, every ride in Ashton Kutcher's life is one in which he happily takes his fans along. Ashton Kutcher keeps in close touch with his fans by Twittering constantly. This weekend, he posted a video on his, his Twitter profile page. He filmed himself riding a motorcycle down a hill, which doesn't seem smart, but I was happy to see him set a good example for other people who videotape themselves driving by wearing a helmet. And when it comes to the sweetest star on our celebrity countdown, the masses can't be wrong. Placing first on our list is country music cutie and fan favorite, Taylor Swift. Widely regarded among the friendliest and most accessible celebrities in the entertainment industry today, fans hail Taylor Swift as a genuine sweetheart who seems just as excited to meet her fans as her fans are to meet her. <laughs> I need a hug. Thank you so much. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? You guys live here too? Maybe we'll run into each other at the grocery store. Taking her grace and beauty to the big screen is a big leap for Taylor Swift, but it was a move she enthusiastically made for an opportunity to join the all-star cast of Valentine's Day. I got a phone call from Gary Marshall saying, Taylor, I want to have lunch or breakfast with you. I really want you to be in this movie. Will you, will you let me write a part for you? And I could not believe it. I couldn't believe that because I, I didn't have the time to be a big role in this movie, Gary was going to write in a small role for me in this movie. It blew my mind. For the latest celebrity news and fan reports, be sure to visit ifollow.com. Real people, real celebrities, real encounters, only on iFollow.